This is the Village Green City Park. We're in North Corvallis. I don't come here very often because it's um, on the other side of town. And I was going to say at first, this is not really a nature park. This is just a neighborhood park with sports fields and stuff. But if we look over here, we can see some white-tailed deer, which are common in Corvallis, as I've seen before. But um, I guess this park has more of a nature element than I thought at first. Because right here we have a creek, and uh, it's not a big creek, it's not a really wild creek, but that's enough room for uh, deer to come and go. Deer can live in some pretty small places, and they can accustom themselves to people. So I guess this park is a little bit more natural than I thought. Speaking of wildlife, it's also really evident we have all of our trees fenced up, wired up. And uh, there's only one animal that eats that cuts down trees, well, there are two, people and beaver. Um, and I've seen beaver tracks here before. Um, right now the water is high, so they're probably concealed, um, but I have seen beaver track close to the water. Uh, I don't know how prevalent they are, but they are certainly trying to protect these trees. Uh, so like I said, this, even though it's just a little creek through a suburban area, a little bit more natural than we might think at first. So in that direction is the creek and the nature part of the park. And up here we have the sports fields and then playgrounds and just, you know, grassy lawn. Uh, this part of Corvallis is a little bit different than the part I live in. I live in a part where it's mostly based on a grid. This has more winding roads. So this park is kind of tucked away and it's hard to find. I have to kind of find it anew each time. Um, but it's a nice park like a lot of parks in Corvallis. This is the other side of the park, the other side of the street, and we have a bicycle pedestrian path here. Uh, and I don't know if this is part of the park or if this is just a disconnected bicycle path. And uh, I'm gonna follow it to its end. By the way, I probably shouldn't be doing this. I'm going pretty slowly though. Um, so right now we're between the railroad tracks on the right, on the other side of these bushes, and then on the left we just have, you know, houses. Um, and then in a little while we have this, if it will focus. We have just a little barrier there. Um, and so this trail really goes on for only like a thousand feet past the road on the other side of the park. So I don't really know what the purpose is because, you know, it doesn't really go anywhere. It's a pretty wide trail and it's pretty well maintained. Um, and one thing I do suspect... Oh no, how do I break? Okay. Is on the other side of this field, in a little while, on the other side of this barrier, in a little while, We have this field. On the other hand side of that, uh, those trees are actually in the um, Jackson Fraser wetland where we've been before. So I think maybe the reason this trail exists is it's uh, part of a trail system that's supposed to connect Jackson Fraser more clearly with, you know, Village Green and then uh, maybe some other parks part of a, tr a bicycle trail system that just hasn't been completed. Because otherwise it seems to be a really wide trail that doesn't lead anywhere. Not that I'm complaining. Okay, so that is my review of Village Green Park and the mysterious trail that ends suddenly.